Hello guys, so today I'm going to talk about two institutes in a particular video uh, we, which have announced their admission notification for PhD admissions. First one is IIT Delhi. So let's talk about this. So this is the official website of IIT Delhi. I'll give you a link in the description of this video. You can directly come up over here again. Uh, all you have to go is, is in the admission section and you have to go for PG admission including PhD. If you click on this, we'll be taken to another page where they will ask you to log in and fill the form. But uh, that part is separate. Let's talk about uh, what are the important announcement regarding PG pro, uh, admission. Okay, So this PG admission is including the PhD admission as well. So this is PhD plus PhD board. So let me click on this. Now you'll be taken to a page which will include a brochure. Okay. So again, you can see this is PG admission semester 1 2023-24 for PG slash PhD programs. Now here is the information brochure. You can apply also from here. You can see some frequently asked questions. So I'll take you to the information brochure and let's look upon that. Okay. So the information brochure is quite big enough. It's uh, it's of I guess around 70 pages are there in that. So I'll not download it and I'll not go in every one by one thing in that. I'll just talk about important things over here. Okay. So this you can see it's an information brochure. If you see the contents, it includes all the things, important dates and all. Let me go for the important things one by one. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about important dates for this uh, IIT Delhi. So submission of the online application started from 14th of March and the last date for submission is 30th of March, 4 p.m. So make sure if you want to apply in IIT Delhi, you should apply it before 30th March, 4 p.m. Okay. Um, other things are given that the range of test or interview days will be between May 16th to June 16th. Orientation for the new student will be from July 20th. Re registration of the new PG student, this is for PG students. Then commencement of the classes and all, these are for the PG students. But for PhD student, dates and other things are same. So introduction is there and then, yeah, let me take you to the uh, eligibility criteria okay so let's talk about the eligibility criteria because that's important to know so in case if you are applying for uh, with the equivalent degree or basically if your qualification is mtech me md mds or equivalent this will be required for technical uh, subjects right in that case you should have 60 percent marks or six percent cgpa on a 10 point scale then if you want to apply for phd in that case, your eligibility criteria will include either MSc, MBA, MA, MBBS or equivalent. In that case, again, 60% marks or 6 CGP on a 10 point scale that is required in your qualifying degree. So if you are applying for PhD and let's say if you are applying for, let's say, PhD chemistry, so your qualifying degree will be MSc chemistry and that in that you should have 60% marks. Along with that, you should also have qualified either GATE or CSIR or UGC net. ICAR, ICMR, DST, Inspire Fellowship. So any of these you should have, okay, any one of these. So it's not necessary to have more than one, any one of these you can uh, you can have. Then if you have BE, BTEC and you are applying for MTEC in that case, 7 uh, CGP or 70% marks you need. Alright, so this was your eligibility uh, criteria. Alright, so let me talk about application procedure, that means how you can apply for this. So submission of application is only done through online procedure. You are not required to send any hard copy to the or bank shalan or anything. Online submission of the application form will be made through the website. This is the link. Then the candidates belonging to general OBC EWS category have to require to pay each of the application fees of 200 rupees. So that's the amount to apply for IIT Delhi. And if you belong to SCST or PWD category in that case, you have to pay rupees 50 as the application fees. The bank charges will be borne by the candidate. So if there is any 10 rupees, 5 rupees uh, bank charges, that you have to pay uh, from your own side. Okay, so that's that's the thing about it. I think these are uh, important informations regarding it. Now you can go to the website of IIT Delhi. I'll take you and I'll show you how you can fill the form. So this is the official website. E-admission uh, is the website name. Uh, you can come over here. What you have to do first of all is you have to go to uh, new user register. Okay, so go over here and register yourself first of all. So your email address, contact number, date of birth, all the things will be required. You have to register yourself. Once you register yourself, you have to use that password and username to log in and then fill all your details like academic details and 
which exam you have qualified all the things will be required and that you can fill after that so i'm not going to do that because it's pretty simple process if you have any doubt regarding it you can ask in the comment sections below okay so this was about iit delhi i have discussed about important dates how many how much amount you have to pay for that what is the application uh, like fees and what are the eligibility criteria all the important things we have discussed the next institute which we will talk about is Iser Tirupati. Okay, now it's Iser Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Iser Tirupati, and this is the official website. Again, the link of this official website will be in the description of this video. All you have to do is go to the admission process or admission section and go to PhD over here. Once you click on this, we'll be taken to this page where it says that the admission to PhD program that is August 2023 has been started different subject wise they have given all the things all you have to do is see your subject i will talk about chemistry over here so for chemistry the subjects or the field which they are offering are organic chemistry inorganic chemistry theoretical and computational chemistry physical and material chemistry chemical biology and other chemistry elite disciplines okay these are the websites to look upon the faculties these are the website to look upon the chemistry department now opening date of the online application was 6th of march and the last date is 3rd of april so if you are applying or if you are planning to take admission in iser tirupati this should be the date you have to uh, remember 5th of uh, sorry 3rd of april then announcement of the candidate shortlisted will be between 20th to 30 25th of april that is the tentative date when they will announce the who are shortlisted for interview interviews will be done in the month of may and the last week of may then announcements announcement of the interview will be done in the month of june early in the month of june and then joining will be from 1st of august now if you look upon the eligibility criteria so minimum eligibility criteria is that you should have minimum 55 marks, uh, percent marks in the aggregate that is overall percentage with all the subject or cgp of 6 on a 10 point scale in master's degree from any of the branch of science that means you can have marks in you can have do msc in physics chemistry mathematics biology or mem tech or any equivalent degree now candidate with b b tech degree with minimum of 60 percent marks they are also eligible for this okay if you are already a iser student if you are doing iser uh, bsms from the iser from any of the iser dual degree student with cgp of 8 and above are eligible without essential eligibility criteria listed on the right, right column means these students who belong to BSMS uh, subject or BSMS degree of ISER, they don't even have to qu uh, qualify for this essential eligibility. All they have to do is just their, if their CGPA is more than 8, they can simply apply for it. Now, in case if you are not an ISER student and if you belong to the other two uh, eligibility criteria, in that case, you should also have this essential eligibility criteria. What is that? That you should qualify for CSIR or UGC LS or JRF or inspire phd fellowship or gate or any other national fellowship that means either if you are a, a csir or ugc ls then also you can apply for this if you are jrf csir or ugc jrf then also you can apply for this if you are inspire student or inspire fellow in that case also you can apply for this if you have a gate score then also you can apply for this and if you have any other national fellowship that is uh, the, the other national fellowship like uh, uh, NFOBC and others if you have that then also you can apply for this so these are the eligibility criteria for this all right application procedure is that only online application are accepted and applicants can submit their forms for the chemistry discipline in the following link so for every department link is different for chemistry this is the link for physics they have given link again here for physics you have to look upon it and you have to if you are go, if you are a chemistry student go with this link okay and fill the form from here so i'll show you how to do that if you click on this link you will be taken to this page and here you have to fill you all your personal details and then you have to fill next and in the next step they will ask you about your academic details then they will ask you that which exams you have qualified and all those things so this is how the form filling will be done for your eyes or tirupati so these were two institutes whose uh, last dates are quite near so i thought of making a video so that i can inform you about it so I hope you guys are well informed about it. Please apply for these institutes if your rank falls in a particular category that you are eligible for these. And if you if you fulfill the eligibility criteria, 
provided by the institutes go for these and uh, take admission in the research so that's all from my side thank you so much for watching see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care